I love that jam. Well, now <laughs> to what we're calling our Central Illinois Road Trip. All this summer long, WMBD is highlighting hidden gems and communities across Central Illinois. And this week, our focus is on Washington. Founded in 1825, Washington's main square has seen its fair share of changes. Some call it the heart of Washington. Washington Square is where William Holland started the city in 1825. Our shop number now shows us Washington Square's past and its future. Melissa Hale says Washington Square is the heart of the city. It's kind of the place where people go. It feels like a little oasis, you know, it feels like a little break from your daily life while still connected to so much of what we all do every day. Hale is the executive director of Washington Historical Society. She says the square used to have a bandstand. It's now featured on one of two art murals on the square. The first bandstand was built in 1885 and it kind of wasn't big enough, so they built another one in 1900 and it wasn't big enough, so they built another one in 1926, which is a, a sturdier bandstand. It was built of, made of brick and was uh, made to stand the test of time. Eventually, the bandstands outgrew the square and moved elsewhere. The third bandstand was torn down in 1959. Today, the square is home to numerous shops and businesses, with a microbrewery set to open in 2023. I think it's so exciting for Washington. I know a lot of people are maybe a little apprehensive about the microbrewery, and there are just as many people who are super excited about it. Mayor Gary Manier says the brewery will be a huge draw. It'll be a destination. We'll see people from Bloomington Normal, Peoria, Morton, uh, all the surrounding areas will come to visit a, a brew pub. Manier says everyone has fond memories of the square. Well, I think it's uh, part of our history and we need to continue to be proud of it and we'll fight for it until uh, all of us die. In Washington, Shabnam Dinesh, WMBD News. And we'll have more from Washington throughout the week. And this Friday afternoon, you can join us live as we dive into summer fun at Washington's Good Neighbor Days.